Hi, I'm Charlene Campbell, and as part of Expedia's Travel Yourself Interesting campaign, I'm joined live via Skype with Bella Saris, DJ at Enter In Space Ibiza. Bella, how are you? Good, thanks. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. So this is your second year in Ibiza now. How are you settling in? Do you feel like a local or a visitor still? Um, I don't know if anyone ever really settles into Ibiza, but it's kind of what I love about it. It's like, it's so super busy every day that you just on the go all the time. And I feel, yeah, I guess I'm kind of like a lot more like a local this year. And how's it going with work? Really good. Um, the um, Enter's going amazing this year. It's um, They put me in the sake bar this year, which is the pre-party that starts at 9.30. Oh, great. So they, um, it's, it's in the Sunset Terrace this year, which is much bigger and definitely my favorite room in the club. So yeah, I, f I feel pretty lucky to be in there. Oh, that's perfect. Now, we know it's quite an expensive holiday choice, so what would you advise in terms of an affordable night out in Ibiza? It is. I would stay clear of the nightclubs because they're going to cost you an arm and a leg. I'd go for dinner probably at my, my favorite restaurant, Los Pasajeros. Um, actually, they just opened their second one um, just near me at the marina, which I'm super happy about. It's like run by a bunch of Italian guys. They're super cool and really cheap and fun. So I'd start off there. And then maybe just maybe just go to a few bars and have some drinks with friends and yeah, stay away from the clubs for sure. Yeah, which is a lot more sociable. And that's actually my next question. I was going to ask, what could you do to avoid the busiest periods as well? Because it must get really hectic. Well, right now we're just getting into August, which is probably the worst time to be here. Um, I got here at the end of May, which is beautiful. It's a lot cooler and quieter and just full of the locals on the island. And um, it's just a beautiful time to hang out. Um, before the season kicks off. Um, either that or the end of September, one when the season's kind of quieting down and all the parties are finishing. Um, my parents are actually coming at the end of September for the closing and then to hang out for a bit, um, for a week or two, just to explore the island. So I think that's the perfect time to, to chill out oh, and recover yes. the season. And it's so famous for its nightlife. So what could you do during the day? Get to the beaches. Um, I, yeah, I'm terrible with that. I haven't been to the beach once, so um, I would love to go explore the north of the island, um, get to Esfedra, maybe even touch Esfedra if I can get out on a boat. Um, yeah, the island's so beautiful and there's so many, so many secluded beaches that no one ever really finds or knows about. So I think that's the perfect thing to do when the season is over. That sounds great. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much, Bella. Thanks, Charlie. Nice to speak to you. And thank you for watching.